Alright, so today I'm going to be going over how to replace the exhaust camshaft position sensor uh, on an E46. Uh, you're going to get a check engine light. Might not be quite in focus there. And then I went ahead and scanned the codes. And the code is for OBD2, it's a P1397 uh, camshaft, exhaust camshaft position sensor. Or I guess in the EU3 protocol, it's a P0340. Okay, so the exhaust camshaft position sensor is on the exhaust side of the engine. This is the plug right here. Um, and to get it out, you're going to want to squeeze either side of the plug like this and then pull firmly straight back towards you, standing at the front of the car. Let's see. You're going to want to carefully pull the plug like that, slightly out. And there you go. And you can see that this one, if the camera would focus, this plug is a little bit oily, so this sensor needs to be replaced. So now that the plug is removed, um, this is the female end, uh, which is on the sensor. And in order to remove the sensor, it's just one 5 millimeter Allen bolt, but it's directly underneath this plug, so you can't really see it. Uh, you're just going to have to take the wrench and um, feel around underneath it uh, until you find it, uh, and then undo it from there. All right. So if this helps anyone, that's approximately... Um, where the where the uh, bolt is, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go from this side. I'll go ahead and loosen that up. And it might be in there a little bit tight. Um, I think the first time I took this out, there was some blue thread locker on that. So don't be afraid to push it a little bit. All right, so there is the bolt uh, removed from the sensor. Uh, you can see it's got a little thread locker on it. So it's um, just give it a, a good break to pull it off. Um, and now, in order to remove the sensor, you're just going to want to grab the plug and kind of wiggle it back and forth just like that until it comes out. Should be pretty easy. And this one has a little, little bit of oil in the plug. Uh, you can see kind of that shine. I think what happens is the seals break on these and then um, they kind of lose their effectiveness. So here's a comparison of the old sensor and the new sensor. Uh, you can see they're not quite the same. The old sensor has a, uh, a smaller uh, Hall Effect sensor on it. Um, but you know, I think this is for M54s as well, and they're interchangeable. This being a, an M52 TU, so pretty late. Um, so this should work fine. Um, yeah, so we'll pop this in and then clear the code and see if we're good to go. So when you're putting your new sensor in, you're going to want to make sure that the flange with the bolt hole faces downwards because the bolt that holds it in is um, below it. And let's see, it's kind of tricky, uh, but once you find the hole, you can just work it in a little bit. Um, and then you might need to kind of get down and look to make sure that hole on the bottom is lined up with the threaded hole in the head uh, in order to put that I'm going to put that retaining bolt back in. Alright, so now that the new sensor's in uh, and the bolt is started, I'm just going to cinch it down with the bolt. Just take it slow here, it's a steel bolt in the uh, aluminum cylinder head and you really don't want to strip it out. It would make for a bad day. So when it starts to get hard, just snug it up and don't go overboard just like that and once your new sensor is in um, I sprayed a little electrical cleaner on the plug but it's probably good to go um, and then just kind of use the like the memory of the cable position to line it up and push it back on no problem so the last step is to clear the code uh, for the sensor so I'm going to go to clear, uh, and then I guess cycle the ignition, and then we'll check it one more time. So now when I go to start the car, uh, the code should be cleared, it shouldn't come back. And there it is, code is gone, thankfully.